Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. I hope you enjoy this presentation of the American Legion Auxiliary, Department of Florida, Veteran Affairs and Rehabilitation Program. I'm going to share my screen with you so we can start the presentation. We'll start it from the beginning. My name is Jane Hardacre, and it was an honor to serve as your Veterans Affairs and Rehabilitation Chairman for the 2019-2020 year. And I will remain as your Chairman for the continuing year of 2020-2021. Your VA and our committee members are Carol Perone Udell and Janie Rock. The VA and our theme this year is Land of the Free Because of the Brave. The Veterans Affairs and Rehabilitation Program promotes our mission to enhance the lives of U.S. veterans, military, and their families. 2019-2020, what a year. This past year brought many challenges to our national organization, our department, our units, and our members. None greater were the challenges our veterans faced. Since early March, we could not reach our veterans, their families, or their caregivers. However, Florida units showed how strong they were by working our mission of service, not self, as long as they could. Last November, our members brought in over $175,000 of in-kind donations to fall conference for our homeless female veterans. Units across the state participated in stand down, stand downs for homeless veterans. One unit held their annual blessing of the buckets where they filled five gallon buckets with items for the homeless. Other units contacted local governments to help with suitable housing projects for our veterans. Hearts and Homes and the HER Foundation are two organizations that our members supported. The first finds immediate housing and the second is transitional housing for our homeless veterans. Our members volunteered and visited Florida's VA hospitals. Members hosted bingos, socials and picnics for our veterans. They served coffee and donuts, donated books and movies and even passed out American flags. One unit sponsored all the veterans in the spinal injury ward. They brought in anything that would remind the veteran of home. CDs, phone cards, and specialty items were handed out to every veteran on that ward. Veterans across the state received Christmas and birthday cards and gifts to let them know they are not forgotten. Florida honored our veterans by donating to Honor Flight and participated in welcome home ceremonies. They held fundraisers for Project Vet Relief. Who knew that our veterans would need the help more than ever due to COVID-19? Units collaborated with the Legion family to transport these veterans to post homes for breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Awards and certificates were presented to the veterans with a round of applause and a big thank you. Our members did not forget the families of our veterans they babysat, ran errands, delivered Thanksgiving baskets and Christmas presents to families who were alone during the holidays. Units donated gift certificates for spa days, pedicures, and hair salons for the spouses of veterans. Florida Strong members spent 91,478 hours serving 21,000 422 veterans and their families. They spent a total of $156,423 in the process, and that does not include the $175,000 of in-kind donations from Fall Conference. I would like to thank you all for your hard work and dedication to our veterans and their families. Now it's time for awards. ALA Strong will be awarded to all the units who donated to the Homeless Female Veterans Project at Fall Conference. 
due to COVID, I cannot present them, but the district presidents will receive them at the 2021 department convention. Perfect attendance for 2019 goes to volunteers Monica Gray and Irma Worley. Perfect attendance for 2020 go to volunteers Charlotte Bass, Deidre Butler, Gail Dupuy, Monica Gray, Rita McLaughlin, Robin Shellhammer, Elaine Warner. Volunteer recruitment and service awards for the largest increase in active, regularly scheduled volunteers and volunteer hours go to Rita McLaughlin and Elaine Warner. Thank you so much for all your work, all the volunteers, all the deputies, all the reps, and even our members. And now for department awards. The Teresa Galeo Award for the unit with the most creative veterans event goes to DeWitt B. Tilden Memorial Unit 316. The Dorothy Smith Award for the unit that reports the best all around VANR program or project goes to Christopher R. Switzerland Unit 344. Thank you to all the units who've submitted for awards. I hope there are more entries this year. Please reach out to me for help and advice. 2020, 2021, what now? Well, COVID-19 has really stopped us in our tracks, but things are starting to open up. Do not lose hope. What can we do to help? Let's talk about some of the things you can do today. There are seven categories we are gonna learn about today. The first one is homeless veterans. The most recent count by the Florida Department of Veteran Affairs in 2017 stated that there were about 2,789 homeless veterans in Florida. That is the ones they know about. How do we find them? Coordinating with your Legion's chairman and offering assistance is one way. Other ways include hosting or working at a stand down. Contact your homeless veteran emergency shelters or transitional housing projects in your area. Donate, prepare and serve meals, collect and distribute clothing, donate sheets, dishes, furniture, and other household items. Crochet hats, scarves, or mittens for distribution. Offer to pay rent, security deposits, or even electricity bills. The next category is volunteer. Right now, the VA hospitals and facilities are not open to visitors. That's not open to visitors. However, they are open to dona donations. You just have to contact the volunteer services, set up an appointment and deliver your items. They will open up again and we want to be ready when they do. Become a regular. VAVS volunteer and invite others. VAVS stands for Veteran Affair Volunteer Service. Provide supplies to those who volunteer with coffee, donuts, and hand sanitizer. Track all your VAVS hours into the VAVS tracking system at the facility. Another category is serve veterans in your area. Ladies, please remember to check with your local health department and your legion so you can follow your county's Center for Disease Control, CDC's guidelines. Department President Special Project this year is Honor Flight of Florida. This is for World War II, Korean War, or Vietnam veterans to fly to Washington, D.C. to see their monuments. Did you know there are nine hubs in Florida? Naples, Winter Springs, St. Petersburg, Fort Lauderdale, Tallahassee, Stewart, Northport, Rockledge, and Lady Lake. Donate to your local hub. Volunteer to be an escort. Volunteer to send them off at an airport and or welcome them home. Volunteer at your local office. Use your office skills to help that local hub. 
make monetary donations. Other ways to serve veterans in your area are drive veterans to doctor appointments or run errands. Visit with veterans and remember them on special occasions. Sew quilts for Quilts of Valor. Treat veterans for two tickets. I'm sorry, let's start that sentence over, ladies. Treat veterans to tickets to movies or sporting events. Buy school supplies. Throw that baby shower. Send care packages to military kids who are headed off to college. The next category is assist veterans with accessing all their VA benefits, not just health care. Help eligible veterans attain benefits through referrals. Encourage them to use the VA health care system and its services, including hospitals, community-based outpatient clinics, vet centers, etc. Invite the local county or state service officer to be the guest speaker at a unit event. Our fifth category is support. Support the rehabilitation and healing of veterans through arts, crafts, and hobbies. The Creative Arts Festival is one way you can help. Donate to your local or national Creative Arts Fest Festival. Identify arts, crafts, and hobby projects targeted to veterans. They could be writing, oral history recordings, quilting, and gardening also. Contribute donated supplies to help, help supplement visual veteran artists' needs for their projects. Donate music instruments. Donate money through department. These funds will help local veterans attend state and national wheelchair games, Paralympics, etc. The next category is remembering and supporting the caregivers of veterans. Sit with veterans to give their caregiver a well-deserved time off. Invite caregivers to a luncheon held in their honor. Find out the needs and concerns these caregivers may have. And familiarize yourself with the Elizabeth Dole Foundation for Caregivers. Okay, the seventh category is help the American Legion. You're not only going to help the Legion, you're going to help the State Department of Veteran Affairs, Chamber of Commerce. You're going to help those organizations promote job fairs for veterans and their families. When this is over, there are going to be even more veterans out of work. Host an information table at a local job fair. Support the Legion by helping host a local job fair at your post home. Job fairs today might even be conducted virtually. Let's be a mentor. Let's be a career e-mentor for women's veterans. Use electronic communications like Facebook, Skype, etc., to mentor these amazing women. The e-mentoring network virtually pairs female veterans with career mentors and subject matter experts for guidance and support. Let's not forget to volunteer for Habitat for Humanity, specifically if a house build is supported by the American Legion. I ask you to never forget our veterans. They are the reason we enjoy the freedoms that we cherish. We don't know them all, but we owe them all. Now it's time for awards. The first department award is the Dorothy Smith Award. This is awarded annually to the unit that reports the best all around VA in our program or project. The second department award is the Teresa Galeo Award. This is awarded annually to the unit with the most creative veterans event. Please refer to your unit guide for the rules. Copies are on the department website under VA and R and I need to receive your entries no later than 30 days prior to department convention. National has several awards that can be found in the VANR program action plan that is on the department website. Florida, we've got this. We're gonna make it through this tough time and come out the other side even stronger. Oh, members of the American Legion Auxiliary, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And now I want 
to talk a little bit about reporting. I just want to touch on mid-year. I've had a lot of units and members concerned that they couldn't do enough for our veterans. What can I report? What if I have nothing to report? If you have nothing to report, then put no activity, but still send in your report. But think about it. Did you still try to gather donations? Depending on the county in our state, some of the counties opened up for a little bit and then they shut down for a little bit. So if you were able to collect donations, if you were able to help your neighbor who is a veteran, you still can put that on your report. Don't forget that uh, mid-year reports are going to go to your VANR district chairman by December 1st. Please refer to my program action plan. Um, look on department website, the mid-year report is on there. And then in turn, the district chairman for veteran affairs and rehabilitation has to have it to me by uh, December 15th. I don't want you to work uh, excuse me, I don't want you, I do want you to work, but I don't want you to worry about reporting. Reach out to me, use my email, use my phone number that's in the unit guide. Ask me, talk to me, talk to other unit members in your district. Uh, that is a wonderful tool that you can use. And please just don't not send in a report. We need to hear what you have tried to do during all of this. It could be something simple as sewing masks for the VA hospitals and somehow they got through or you gave them to veterans that you knew were going to the VA hospital because the veterans were not um, kept from the VA hospitals. It was just us, volunteers, the public. So please reach out to us, keep up the hard work and dedication and I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I want you and your family to stay healthy and safe. I love all of you. Have a great day.